My name is Laurens van Dijk. I'm a PhD student of Utrecht University and we are here uh, located now in Eindhoven. This lab laboratory is part of uh, ECNN's alliance. So we work together to have one uh, large laboratory where we can share all these setups. When I, when I was a child, like seven years old, I was always fascinated by many things I saw in nature, like how, how does a car engine work, how, uh, how can we build houses, how, what is light exactly. So I asked a lot of questions already to a lot of people, uh, especially my father. Every person has a kind of uh, responsibility to, to take care of, of this earth we are living on. I think uh, if we continue our lifestyle as we do at the moment and we don't bother about anything, then, then we get really into trouble. So at the moment there is only a small part of electricity generated by solar cells, but, and the other part is gen generated by fossil fuels. We know already that these fossil fuels will become more expensive and that they have large disadvantages. So we have to, to, to look for alternatives. And uh, one of these alternatives is, of course, solar cells. So the, the aim of my research is generating or producing solar cells that are more efficient. We have to, to develop new ideas for solar cells. We have to, uh, to find clever concepts to, to trap the light in the solar cells. And if we are able to do that, then uh, we will be able to make solar cells with a very high efficiency, way higher than the cells that are now produced. And uh, yeah, the advantage is that we can, in that way, generate lots of, of energy, uh, of electricity from, from the sun. Of course, this, this real research is paid by society. Society also sees that we have pro a problem. And of course, I would like to, to accept this challenge to try to invent new solar cells. And in that sense, I'm really part of the uh, research uh, community. When, when I would be really happy is when I see that solar cells integrate this kind of new concept in solar cells and that it's really laying on the roofs of, of houses and when my ideas are implemented in these cells then uh, that would give us satisfaction. Yeah. We are uh, working hard on uh, making cells that perform better but at the moment we did not make cells that really perform outperform the cells that are currently on the market but we generate some ideas that in the end might result to, uh, in, in better cells. I'm never finished. I think uh, I will also always be interested in the, in the solar cells, about the continuation of the uh, developing of the efficiencies. There won't be an end. Maybe we, when we can make solar cells that have an efficiency of like uh, 90%, then I would say it's finished, if we also can generate, do it at low cost. <laughs>